Hey team. All right, so this is workout number three. Uh, this workout is going to be a little more intense, so really excited for that. Uh, honored to be able to, one, man, I'm so pumped that you downloaded the app. Um, man, two, I'm just thankful to be somebody in your life that is encouraging you to make your body line up with what hopefully your spirit believes and your soul is learning to believe as we transform our minds to be more like Christ um, in an everyday process, our emotions to be more like Christ, and our will pushes more to be like Christ. So I'm honored to do that with you guys. Um, this workout is going to be one more based on plyometrics. Um, I'm coming off uh, a week of being sick, so really excited to do this with you. Um, but it's going to be a little rough. So uh, let's get started. One of my favorite ways, we gotta make sure we warm up those hamstrings. This workout is going to be a full body workout. Uh, really excited, so welcome. You're in my backyard with me. So check it out as we're warming up. Do this with me. So everything you're doing with me, that new Soulcon shirt, um, the back of it, super cool. Called to sacrifice not to comfort. You can only buy this shirt if you've graduated one of the Soul Con challenges. So if you've done it in a group at your church, um, you've done it with me and one of the teams, uh, you can only buy this shirt if you're a graduate because on the sleeve, which is something I love, kicking that butt still, is the Christian flag going backwards showing, hey, this flag is on my shoulder, my right arm, and I am a soldier walking into battle, and I'll live the Soul Con lifestyle for the rest of my life and I will run into battle as a Christian. All right, team, jumping jacks, getting started. Whoo, man, jumping jacks are no joke. It's warm out here today, first day of fall today. Uh, so happy first day of fall. Celebrate with a workout to get sweaty. Love it. So yeah, if you man, if you're a SoulCon graduate, you've been through one of the challenges, make sure you get this shirt. Super nice poly cotton blend. Really comfortable. And those jumping jacks, make sure to side, just warming up. Warming those calves up. You're gonna start to feel it. I feel it already. We're only a couple minutes in. Woo! All right, about five seconds left. Five seconds. All right, bring those knees up. Warming up. Whew. Feeling fine. Looking good. Hopefully you guys listen to my teaching from this week on front sight focus. Where right here, shooting that way, right behind me, is where I've been working on with my son to shoot his pellet gun and focus on the front sight. If you haven't done that, go back to the weekly teachings Watch the front sight <clears throat> and pick out your five verses that I call your front sight verses. Because life will try to beat you to your knees. And when it does, and the enemy comes in, you have to have those verses ready. You pull up your gun and you destroy the work of the enemy. So if there's pressure on you saying, you gotta worry about your future, your finances, that you're never gonna hit your calling, you say, 1 Peter 5, 7. Cast, I'm gonna cast all of my cares on God because he cares for me. Jumping jacks, let's go. <laughs> Warming up. This is the warm up. Shoot, boy. I don't know what's coming. Getting it. Oh. Really feeling it in those arms. Use those arms. Aren't just swinging them, just power. Hour. We're gonna do sprint jacks today. Some of my favorites. Gonna do some burpees today. Oh man. Oh man, that's good. Some of those push-ups. One of my favorite things about living a special forces lifestyle for Jesus. Uh, it's not about big muscles and being a vain person. It's about making the most of your time and being the most productive as possible with your workout time to live a lean, fit, healthy life for Jesus. All right, kick that butt. Warm-up's done. We're ready to get started. <laughs> so it's never about the big, 
I'm gonna go lift weights for two hours and just focus on how good looking my biceps are in the mirror. It's not about that. It's about how can I get my blood pressure healthy so I can go into the most stressful situations and keep a cool, sober mind. That's what we exercise for. We exercise to be a living sacrifice, not a vessel of vanity. <laughs> All right, team, here's a burpee. So check it out. Squat down, squat down with good form. You're coming down, kicking back. Push up, up here, and we're jumping. One minute of burpees. Make sure you can see me. <laughs> One minute of burpees. If you have to take a break, take a break. Um, if you can go the whole minute, let's do it. We're gonna start in three seconds. Ready, hoo ya. Huh. Come up and jump. We're going for one minute. Let's go. Down, boom. You're focusing, the minute's going. Your, your knees are good when you're squatting down. Your knees don't go in. Let's go, keep rocking. Your knees don't bend in, that's ACL. You don't wanna hurt your ACL. So when you go down, good form, boom. Good push up, up and jump. Come on, I'll see you guys get off the ground. Let's do it together, down. Huh. Everything we do, we give it 100%. Out, down, flying. Oh, shoot, 20 seconds left. Let's go. So, down. Get it nice and fluid. I know some of you guys want to race me. You want to race me. I'm not racing right now. I'm not racing. Just so you know, if you were here, I'm competitive enough, I would want to race you. One second left, let's do it together. Down, ha, push up. Ha, kick that butt. Good job, guys, burpees, done. I'm gonna show you burpees from the side while you, you keep kicking your butt. Keep kicking your butt. So go down, kick back, push up, up, here, and jump. Easy day. Easy day, feeling fine, looking good. Man, I just got back last night. I spoke at a men's conference in Ada, Oklahoma, about two hours from where I live. Traveled with my man, Mike Keybone. <laughs> man, so encouraged. So encouraged that I'm sure a lot of you guys watching this are from that conference as well. All over the world, there's men that wanna live a special forces lifestyle for Jesus. They just need to know that there's a community of us. You're a part of that community, and I'm thankful for it. All right, team, getting those legs spread just a little bit. We're gonna squat down, squatting down, pressing up, down, up. Now this is something you can race in. Race yourself, we have 60 seconds. Let's go, so you're down, up. You want here's from the side. Feel fine, looking good. Should be living in Hollywood. Oh, oh, oh. My weekly teaching this next week is going to be about what you say to yourself when you feel weak. And let me tell you, this last week in the Bobe house, we had two kids with strep and I had strep. Let's go drive. You talk about feeling weak. So I wanna share that with you guys. What do you say to yourself during those times? <laughs> what do you say to yourself when you and your wife, jumping jacks, haven't had sex in two weeks, three weeks? You feel weak, you feel tempted. What do you say? And so we're gonna talk about in that weekly teaching. Because <laughs> we can justify easy. But it's exactly what Satan wants us to do is justify sinful habits. And I'm here, and this whole soul con community is here to say we are putting to death the sinful habits of the flesh. Because like Peter said, those are what wage war against our soul. The fleshly lusts. All right, 
shoulder raises. So I should be burning. Let's rock. Feeling good. All these workouts. Gonna be quick, right on point. Right on point, what you need. Do them with your shoes off in your backyard. No weights. So there's no weights. Feeling fine? Looking good. Looking good. So, what do you say to yourself when you're feeling weak? Because if I'm around you and we're friends and I hear some of this stuff you say to yourself when you're weak, I'd want to slap you. And I'd hope you guys would want to slap me. Because if you're my friend and we're sitting around the table and somebody comes up and starts saying that stuff to you, I would want to slap them. So why do we allow ourselves to get away with it? We've got to stop. Because what we say to ourselves is the most important sermon that we will ever speak. The scary thing is, it's a sermon we give ourselves all the time. All right, team, take those arms. Doing a little Michael Phelps. Just let them swing, stretching them out. Feeling fine? Looking good. I love that. Something the Navy SEALs teach on self-talk. That's one of their mantras. Feeling fine, looking good. So when you feel tired, you start to question, just laugh. Feeling fine, looking good. Hi right, team, push-ups. We drop down on push-ups. One of the biggest parts of Soul Con is push-ups. One of my favorite things about push-ups is you can do them just about anywhere. So I'm gonna get back, make sure you can see me well. Here, if you have the Soulcon dog tag on, you go down until your dog tag hits the ground. We're going for a one minute team. I have to be able to see my clock. One minute of push ups. All right, let's rock. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Looking fine, feeling good. Who? Yeah. Making it easy. Too easy. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Let's go. If you have to go to your knees, you're here. Not on the top of your knees. You're here. Let's go. Keep going. If you're on your knees, you're here. Almost on your quadriceps. Then down, up, down, up, down, up. If this is too easy on your feet, you're here. And you're pushing. And you're switching. Let's go. Let's push. If you're on your knees, you're here. Feet. Let's go, team. Looking fine. Feeling good. Cody's feeling the fatigue. We have five seconds. All right, stay on your knees. If you have bad knees, you got a plane flying over. 30 seconds as fast as you can. If you have bad knees, you stand up. Oh, that burns. All right, I'm gonna stand up just because my legs start itching on the ground. So, in the Soulcon Challenge, you do skydiving. Oh man, it's 30 seconds is a nightmare. You take, take a break when you need it. In the book, you jump out of an airplane. You face anxiety, you face fear. Oh, thank God that's over. Uh, here, jump out of a plane, I'll never forget. I've only jumped out of a plane once. <laughs> they had to jump the plane. I was doing a tandem jump. They had to jump the plane with a junky car. The pilot didn't have a shirt on. So I was actually more thankful I was jumping out of the plane than gonna have to land in the plane. But the plane that just flew over is a Cessna. So I jumped out of. Best thing in the world. Um, one of the best things in the world. Uh, so hey, you gotta try it sometime. When the Soulcon Training Center opens, God willing, be praying for it. I, I believe my God-given vision is four years and three months from now, it opens. We're going to have a skydiving arena if you sign up for it and you want to do it. All right, team, if you have a drink of water, grab a drink of water. We have about four minutes left of this workout. last four minutes is going to be rough. So let's embrace this suck. Grab a little sip of water. You're going to hit pause. Do it. Get right back in. Muscles are hot. They're primed. They're ready. We have sprint jacks next. Sprint jacks. Um, we're created by Satan for harm for humans. We're going to turn them and make them for good. Just kidding. 
Well, we're gonna make them for good long term. Sprint jack, here it is. Just start with me, jumping jack. Feeling those shoulders, feeling fine. Looking good. Ah, 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 ah. Feeling fine, looking good. Next workout we're gonna do, all core. All core, can't wait. Core you can do anywhere. 29 muscles in your core. We're gonna work all of them. Feels good. All right, team, sprint jack. 30 seconds, as fast as you can in the sprint. Still good for them. Boom, boom, boom. Race me, race me. Let's go, race me. Keep up. Let's go. Don't slow down. Ha, 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 ha. Don't slow down. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 10 seconds. Ha, ha, ha. Feeling fine, looking good. Hoo, yeah. Slow it down, slow it down, don't stop. Don't stop. Don't stop. Hey guys, you're doing awesome. What do you say to yourself when you feel tired, when you feel weak? It's one of the most important things about exercise. Practice exhaustion. Practice fatigue. And then get stronger in the face of it. This is the practical side, one of the practical sides of exercise. Sprint jack, last one, 30 seconds. Ha, 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 feeling good. Oh man, this burning those hips. That is good. You like that soul concert, don't you? Yeah, man, need to earn it. Need to earn it. For me, I'm with the team. We're in week five right now. Next week we test out. Hi right, team, kick your butt. Kick your butt. Almost done. Feeling good? Burpees. Burpees. One minute. That heart rate's high. You need to take a break. Take a break. Hit pause. Don't go away. Don't go sit on the recliner. Take a break. 30 seconds. Right back in. Last minute team is burpees. Your goal is to just keep going. You're not going as fast as you can unless you're like an eight out of 10 in your fitness level. Other than that, your goal is just to keep going. Remember, a burpee from the side. You're here. We're not started yet, you're still kicking your butt. Down. And you're jumping. You ready? I'm not, just kidding. Of course I'm ready. Let's do it, team. One minute, down. Jump high. Down, fluid. Your goal is just to keep going. Don't stop. Get it, get it. Just kidding. Sorry. I'm gonna do my best not to sing. It's tempting though. Down. Ha. If we can't overcome the pain during exercise when it hurts, how are we going to finish in life? How in the world? Are we gonna finish strong with our kids, with our marriage? Because that pain is the real war. We have to fight. Never practice quitting, ever. <laughs> Press, even if you just have to walk through it, walk through it, let's go. We have time for one more, let's do it. Down. Jumping, kick that butt. Take that left, uh, mirror me, take that right arm across. Pack yourself on the back. Oh yeah, we did it. Kicking that butt, switch arms. Pack yourself on the other side. Good job team. Right arm up over your head, lean into it. Man, thank God for bodies that will exercise, that will grow stronger. And thank God for the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. We don't have a spirit of fear or timidity shrinking back. Take that right arm out, or that'd be left arm for you guys out in front. Stretch your forearms, your biceps. Switch arms. Power, love, and a sound mind. 
I always love when I get to talk to guys and it's like, man, I just don't have self-discipline like you have self-discipline. So no, 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 you are not applying what scripture says. Grab your right ankle. If you have to lean on something, lean on something. This is what you're looking for here. Everybody has self-discipline. It's a gift that if you're a believer, you have self-discipline. You just have to make your brain realize you have it. Switch. You have all the strength to do good. You have all the strength to keep a pure heart. You have to train your brain to know it. Your brain is like a horny puppy. Labrador puppy will eat itself to death if the owner doesn't take the food away. Our bodies will do the same thing. Just be consumed by lusts in your brain and bigger lusts and bigger lusts with this food, pride, uh, gluttony of lazy lifestyle of pornography. We can't trust our brain for one day. We have to walk clothed in the spirit. Hopefully this exercise was a blessing. I look forward to the next one. We're going to hit core. Do me a favor. Share this app, this message with one of your friends. Get them connected. Fitness is spoken all around the world in every language. Connect them and hopefully we all get to know Christ more or maybe some people for the first time because that's what really matters. That's why we're here. Love you guys. Keep up the great work. See you soon.